Jean Chow. Ka Kwe Kao. Which is my really butchered Vietnamese of hello, how are you? And most Vietnamese would say Kao <laughs> right now, which is <laughs> no, <laughs> not good. Okay, so today we're going to unpack a lot of stuff. I'm not going to say shit, but we're going to unpack a lot of stuff. We're going to talk about like all kinds of different topics and things like this. Um, you know, uh, my father recently passed. Um, you know, my mom is in a condition. Um, will I be running away from Vietnam to go somewhere else to go shoot videos? Because I must shoot videos and I must get out of wretched Vietnam. No, that, that's just not going to happen. That's not the way I, I float. I have a lovely wife here that has a great job here and we have a, uh, a good system here. So we're going to keep that going. Now, before I talk about any of this new stuff, I'm not an expert in any of these things. Uh, anything I say is could be wrong. Research it on your own. Like trusting a YouTuber is insane. So don't do that. Uh, research things on your own. We have so much stuff to unpack today. It's why I wait like a week between these videos. And honestly, they're doing really well. Like, you know, the average video gets eight to 10,000 views now, which is like a whole entire auditorium almost, you know, like that's a lot of people. Like people will try to throw shade on that. But as I look at <laughs> 10,000 people is a lot of people if, if, if you're putting them in, in one area. So I really appreciate you guys that are, are viewing these, that are thumbs upping. You know, of course, if you watch the video and if you like it, smash the like button up. If you don't like it, just smash the like button down. I'm giving you the total option to do so. You also don't have to comment if you don't want to. Comment if you have something um, to add to the story. Uh, I'm not really into the, like, the, the whole world reset uh, anti-vaxxing thing, but whatever, dude. You want to post your shit on there saying shit like that? All for you. So yeah, we're going to be talking a lot about the CCP virus in, in Vietnam. And yes, I will always call it the CCP virus because even if they don't find proof that it was created in China through the CCP government, uh, the Communist Chinese Party, uh, their mishandling of telling people about it and letting their people go on essentially like what they call Tet here and traveling worldwide and pretty much spreading this is uh, a huge issue. It's the whole problem as to why this is a big issue um so we have a lot of things to talk about um for one i'm not going to be exiting vietnam anytime soon i have no desire to run away and go to texas and or whatever and make some video content because the the government won't let me go out and make content here like that's just you're just not going to see that from me you're going to see less content. Um, you know, I've been talking about live streaming and said I was going to have a schedule. We are going to have a schedule. It's going to be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays on the alternate channel, which is in the description. Um, and maybe one day on the uh, my regular channel here, but we'll get deleted right afterwards. So for everyone that turned out on the last live stream, you guys are awesome. You know, I appreciate all the super chats and stuff like that. Um, of course, like liquid money right now is, is low for our household. Winnie's still making an income, but my income's down by like 60, 70% because of course I can't go shoot content every day. So every little bit counts. All you on the Patreon and people that donate through PayPal, you guys are really great. The first thing I want to talk about is the GoFundMe project. You know, we have around uh, $1,500 right now. So in the past week, every day we've been trying to, you know, get to some quantities of formula and diapers, which just isn't there and finding someone to deliver it. So, you know, we're, we're trying to work on the project. Um, you know, I'm trying to do about $1,800, which is $300 over. So 300 bucks of my own money into splitting it in between the, uh, the pagoda out in Govop and the lady out in District 4. The kids in District 1 are way outside of the city in some other part, so I can't really help them there. So we're trying to help where we can. I appreciate you guys all that have given to the GoFundMe and continue to give to the GoFundMe. You guys are really awesome, you know. And a big thanks to, like, all the, the supporters, you know. I'm not going to name names, but there's so many of you guys, so. And as far as Patreon goes, it's really buggy here. 
because it's an American website and the C cable's damaged. So like I don't get DMs right away. It can take, you know, me logging out, logging in, logging out, logging in three or four times before like everything refreshes. So don't feel um, like butt hurt if I don't message you back. The, the best bet is to join the Discord and be in the lobby on the Discord because we talk about stuff on a daily, uh, a, a daily thing there. So as far as vaccinations go, um, they're really rolling it out here in Saigon. They're doing like 200,000 every day. We run out as of today, so like we need more. But let me read you like the big headline of, of today's news. Vietnam's daily COVID tally hits new high of 9,684. Ho Chi Minh City, of course, leads the way with around 4,000 cases, followed by uh, industrial neighbors, Binh Dong, 3,200, Long An, and Dong Nai. So, like, it, it, it still just keeps going and going and going. Let me give you the stat on that. I think I pulled it up here. Hold on here. Another big thing is, like, Vietnam is cutting a, a quarantine date for fully vaccinated people for, to 7 and 7. 7 at a facility, 7 at home. Now, this is a big let me tell you, you don't want to be in Vietnam right now. There is no reason to get here on some kind of expert visa right now. There is absolutely no reason to come here. Um, it, you're not going to have any kind of free life here for who knows how long. You know, they're trying to create these green zones. And I think Saigon will be the first green zone as they're really, really pushing um to get Saigon vaccinated, which is smart because, you know, we have the most amount of outbreaks here. Now, I think a lot of you know how I feel about vaccinations. I, I'm, a, I'm a guy that just says, OK, let's take it. You know, Winnie's had the AZ uh, first stab. I've had the AstraZeneca first stab. There is no priority on it. You just signed up to a list and then they, they you know, message you and call you to come take it. And I just did what the government told me to do. And, you know, they gave us both each the first stab. So I had adverse reactions from it for, for a day or two, which was nothing really major. Um, and most likely both of our second injections will be mixed with Pfizer or Moderna um, as AstraZeneca is running low kind of worldwide. So, yeah, I mean, it's still... I guess a up to you thing. I think if you're going to want some kind of freedom, it's going to be through the vaccine. I'm not like, again, like I've said, I'm not like, I don't think there's a new world bullshit coming or the vaccine's going to kill me in cancer in three years. Like, whatever. I'll roll my dice on it. I've had a shitty enough and unhealthy enough lifestyle in my life to where I, I don't think a vaccine is going to make any difference. So, but again, still, it's up to you to, to, <laughs> to make that choice. Um, you know, we talk about that in the discord a lot. There's a few people in the discord that have, uh, we're, we're pretty much no vaccine that have kind of gotten the vaccine and they're still alive. Of course. Um, we have a few people in the discord where, you know, one guy, what's up, Seb? Uh, I, I don't want to put your like full information out there. So I just kind of short shortened it, but you know, um, he's married to a Viet woman um, and his parents live in Binthan right across the, the way here. And, uh, you know, both her uh, grandparents died, I think. It might have been her parents or her grandparents. Both died from, from COVID. So, you know, these are things to acknowledge as you're here. Let's see. Let's translate this to English. And again, you know, you're never going to see um, my channel change. You're never going to see me do, you know, there's a lot of YouTubers that have left because they need to go film their content somewhere else. So whether they've gone to Singapore, whether they've gone to America, whatever. Um, fine with me, but you're, you're not going to see that, that from me unless something really happens bad with my, my mother and to my family, I love you guys, my, my sister, my brother, um, my mother, uh, my grandma. I know all you guys watch my videos, so, you know, I love you guys. Uh, sorry I can't be there, but, you know, I have my own family here that I need to take care of, so 
I'm doing the best I can do with the uh, tools provided to me right now. So, uh, let's see. Let me see here. Uh, where's the stats? Okay, so we've got a total of 200,643.9 cases. We added about 10,000 cases today. You know, it, it's really not going down case wise. Um, and a lot of people are getting put on oxygen, a lot of people are really sick. It, it's not the kind of scenario you want to see. Uh, you know, renters are taking a bath and, and receiving, you know, everybody's asking for a reduced rent. You know, I did not ask for a reduced rent here as our rent is already really cheap for this building and we have a pretty good deal. So things are, are very, I don't want to say grim, but they're not like the greatest here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I want to really stress for anyone that's doing the expert visa route is um, now is not the time to come here. You're going to have difficulty just getting a SIM card. You're going to have difficulty like finding a place to rent without seeing it. You're going to have a lot of difficulties getting here. And from the way I'm looking at it, I think Saigon will be the first place to kind of like reopen as it'll be a green zone because like even with just one injection, you know, that's they're they're considering here 60 to 70 percent there. So like with one injection, I can go and be a volunteer and I can go move about the city and do a lot of things. So if they can fully get the city vaccinated, which I think they can do in about two months, uh, it's probably going to be the first place open. But like what opens going to look like is before directive 16, you know, it's going to be still a strong stay at home, yada, yada, yada. Let's see. I'm reading through the news. So another big thing that Vietnam um, decided to do was to get remdesivir. So uh, they got 10,000 vials of uh, remdesivir, which they all pushed to Ho Chi Minh City and they're trying alternative methods to get people through this that haven't been vaccinated which is great so we're seeing a lot of like you know pro steps towards getting things healthy getting things done um again i'm still glad to be in vietnam like there's so many people that are like <sighs> there's a couple commenters that are like <laughs> look at vietnam now look i'll still take vietnam you still got hundreds of thousands of deaths in america at what end and the Delta variant's running wild there. What, what's gonna happen now? Everyone's so, we're running into this thing now where everyone's a professional in every single thing because you took a shit on the toilet and you read 15 minutes about what vaccine's better and what one's not, and you're now a vaccine expert. And now you're an expert on how to run a country. And now you're an expert on pretty, everyone's an expert kind of on everything now, which, Okay, we're each enabled to our own thoughts, but have you ever run a country? Have you ever been a, 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 a vaccine maker, a viral scientist? I, I don't know. I don't know of anybody on my page that has, but there's a lot of people that certainly seem like they are. Um, you know, it's one thing to read a few articles and, and all this stuff, but to actually, you know, know what's going on, like as we're seeing in, in uh, China uh, under the CCP hand, it, you're seeing major lockdowns again. And I don't think they've ever reported the real numbers. We don't ever really gonna know what's happening over there. And do we really know if lockdowns kind of work? Well, we don't, but it seems that Australia has had a pretty good you know, rate on that kind of stuff. And especially places that have gone along with it and there aren't people that are like, I'm still gonna go for my run and walk, like here. I'll give you Golden River, for example. You can go out any time before the curfew, and I can count 15 to 20 people that are running, walking, breaking all the rules because they just don't want to follow them, and they think that they're kind of above it. Like, you know, I'm a runner. I've been running for 20 years pretty much every day my whole life. If I wasn't a runner, I'd probably weigh 350 pounds. And thankfully, I haven't put on any weight during this whole thing. 
you know, I've been kind of static at where I've at because, you know, I've, I've been watching what I'm eating. I'm not buying like, like four P pizza, the big pizza chain here. It's just like crushing, filling the freezers with like frozen pizzas and all kinds of shit. And I, I've just not been buying any of it. I eat healthy vegetables. I eat, uh, you know, very little bad things. I'm, I'm eating all natural things like a pineapple and green bean mix that Wynn made with, with a little bit of rice, maybe some uh, uh, short rib pork uh, stir fried, you know, um, and I'm eating small portions and, you know, I'm minding what I'm doing. Uh, what else? Do we got? So we got the rem demosphere. Uh, Iver, Ivermectin, I don't know how to say it. I imagine it's coming in the pipeline. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be a very uh, globally accepted thing. I mean, conspiracy theorist people have their things on this. But um, you won't see me running away from Vietnam. You won't see me deleting content in fear. Um, you know, I'm going to keep making videos as we can. I'm going to make informative videos. Uh, we, we, we've shot a few cooking videos, you know. I've got some pretty good ideas for some cool videos that are going to be totally just fun. So we're going to see that posted. Like I said, we talked about the live streaming setup. You know, we've only got a thousand subscribers on the, uh, the alter alternative live streaming channel, which I implore you, if you want to see me talk freestyle, you know, three or four times a week coming up this week, Yes, this time for sure. You know, I've just had a lot of shit to deal with, by the way. You know, losing your father and hearing your mom sick and then people in the Discord losing their family here, it, 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 it doesn't make for, you know, an easy life. So I'm really getting back to the roots, really getting focused. So I implore you to go to the alter alternative channel, which is in the description. It's Fat and Broke IRL. That's where I'm going to be streaming from. For some reason, YouTube doesn't like it when you live stream. So I'm not going to live stream on this channel to hurt this channel. And there's too many haters that will like report it and flag it. And I don't know. I don't know why they haven't figured out like a new life. They're so like against anything I say. But like if I'm them, I go and just make my own YouTube channel then and put my own information out. I'm, I'm really don't understand the mindset of a lot of people like that. Like. I've never been a hater, though, so I don't know, like, how it is to be a hater. And so, yeah, that's that's a new thing to me. If I don't like somebody's channel and their content, I just don't watch it. And I just move on to the next thing. You know, YouTube is like Baskin Robbins. There's hundreds of flavors. If you don't like what I'm saying, there's another flavor saying it. So, you know. But it is what it is. This is life. You know, the great Howard Stern says when you have, you know, anti-fans, haters, you're making it. So that's kind of how I look at it. You know, Hanoi's locked down. Da Nang's locked down. Um, pretty much every province and city is locked down now. Nha Trang is locked down. Um, you know, I've got people reporting from all these places to me. They're all locked down, you know. And it, it is what it's going to be for until each one of these cities get, like, you now have to have 80, 90% herd immunity for, for um, the Delta variant, which like a lot of people from America are like, we already herd immunity. You're really not. You've only got 50% of people vaccinated. You've got so many people that are like, I'm not getting vaxxed. I'm not going to die from cancer in three years. Whatever. You know, all you're doing, like for, for Asia, I can tell you, for Asia, the way that this is going to go, especially for Vietnam, like this is just a theory. This is not factual information, but I'm telling you right now, inside of Vietnam, if you don't have the vaccine in six months, you're still not going to be able to do shit. You're going to have to be required to stay inside. You're going to have to be re required to get tested all the time. It's going to seriously limit your activity here. And it's already being proven in like other Asian countries that this is how they're dealing with it. So, you know, you're kind of at this point fighting the inevitable by not getting a vaccine. And especially if you're in America and you have access to Pfizer, which is gonna be the first FDA approved vaccine in like a week or two, what 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 are you waiting for? You know, there's so many videos of like dads, like proud dads that were like, I'm not getting vaxxed, that are literally dying from the Delta variant that are like, 
I just want my funeral to be people getting vaxxed. I'll pay for, use my money to make it a mass vax party to where I was wrong. Get vaccinated. So, like, you're seeing the proof in the pudding. Like, again, I'm not telling you what to do, but it's just things that I'm seeing. And stuff like this, you know. Wins, wins dad's an F, F, what? F1? F1. So Win's dad, for some reason, went and bought medicine for his sister and then took it to his sister's house where they all are F-Zeros, right? So the whole household's F-Zero. So now he's getting watched like a hawk. Like, he feels fine. He's, he's two or three days into it. But, like, you know, the thing that's going to help to solve this is a vaccine. <laughs> Crazy, right? And the weird thing to me is we all had many vaccines when we were babies. Like, we're still here. We're not dead. I'm a week into the AstraZeneca or a week and a half. Winning's like three weeks in. Neither of us have brain clots or cancer. We're fine. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's still your choice to make. You know, there is no you have to take it. But I'm telling you, if you want to get here, if you want to have some kind of movement and freedom... You're going to need the vaccine. And if you're in a position to where you can take the good vaccines, which is like the Pfizer or the Moderna, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's up to you to take it, but I would probably take it. And I respect all of you guys. Like, I love every one of my viewers for how they feel either way. I know there's a lot of you that are that are, don't want to take these vaccines because they're not proven. They're not old school technology. Understandable. But there's at some point of where... Like, you know, you get what I'm saying. And, and at the same point, if you're like in your mid 20s and you're healthy, OK, I kind of see it. I see your point to it. Like I'm a dude in my late 30s, so I'm looking at it a bit different. But as far as finishing up Saigon content, grab delivery is completely a, 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 a bust. You cannot order something on grab and have it delivered. They're all pretty much on like a strike, I would call it. Of course, you'll never see that in the news, but like it essentially is a strike. Um, all the grab drivers are just at home. They don't want to deal like, you know, your average grab driver was getting one or two fees a day because it wasn't an essential item or whatever. And each fee is a million to two million dong. So like that's all they make in three or four days. So like they're like, fuck it. I'm not going to do this anymore. How do you deliver your friend's medicine? When you buy medicine, how do you deliver it? Through what service? The post office, Vina Post, Vietnam Post. Which one? Now? No. Two four. So twenty four seven post. So like you have to find new ways to send shit. Like a lot of Winnie's friends, are like she's been buying, uh, you know, sanitary wipes, like uh, like tampons as we would call them in America, like all kinds of shit and medicine for her friends that are in areas where they can't even go out you know and they are in some areas issu issuing a ticket to go out and buy food here they're not um here they're doing a pretty poor job on security you know they've laid off essentially 80 percent of the staff so like you've got you know there's a guy out here a dad with his kids which is understandable he's got like five kids he'll go out and exercise for like an hour and a half around here just like going over and over. And then there's like other expats here that'll like, you know, put their workout gear on, put their backpack and they'll walk from each store like over and over and over for an hour or two until they get their steps in, which is okay. Clever, clever way to go about it. But like, it is what it is. So I think, you know, I didn't realize we were at 20, 24 minutes, but as I said, you've got the live streaming schedule. You've got everything, you know, I think we covered a lot of stuff I wanted to cover today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You know, I'm trying to come up with new ideas. I've shot so much content already on things here. And I don't think it's like wise to make like move here now videos and shit like this as I don't advise anyone to move here within the next six months. I don't advise anyone to move here in the next six months. All right, guys, that's the video. Stay frosty. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next one. You know, I don't want to make too many of these news videos because they aren't my favorite thing to make. But thank you for watching. 
Stay frosty. See you on the next one. Win. You gotta go way louder than that. Way louder. I'm walking. Say peace out louder.